Okay, this is a tutorial about how to get Sony Vegas about how to get a video in Sony Vegas high quality. First, let's go to Pinnacle Studios for the Dazzle. Go to Capture. Um, it's just loading up, kind of slow right now. And if you have any questions or something, just send me a personal message or put in the comment and I'll try to help you the best I can. Um, go to, first go to settings, capture source. Make sure your video and audio should be Dazzle DVC 100 or whichever Dazzle you have. I have the platinum one. And you should, uh, for TV standard, you should choose NTSC if you live in the US or PAL if you live in Europe. For aspect ratio, I prefer 16 by 9 because the picture quality looks a little bit better, but you can choose full screen 4 by 32. I have capture preview off because it kind of messes up your video sometimes, makes it lag, or desyncs your audio. Next, go to capture format. The pr you should choose for presets MPEG half, and if you have regular Pinnacle Studios, to high quality DVD. If you have ultimate, choose custom, and then put this all the way up. Next, go to project preferences. First, it will be like this when you have it, but you should choose this. Use this format for new projects. If you just have regular Pinnacle Studio full screen choose NTSC progressive or if you have wide if you chose widescreen choose progressive widescreen but if you have ultimate just choose HD1280 by 720-30p then click OK then your game console screen should show up and what you're playing then uh, for video input, choose composite if you just have red, yellow, and white. But if you have S video, choose that because it makes your picture quality much better. I just keep these at defaults because I'm just going to edit, edit it in Sony Vegas anyway. Audio, make sure that's on. Next, just capture a video and then let it detect the scene, and then you're done. Just minimize this and go to Sony Vegas import your video and put it here dra and drag it into your timeline then go to project preferences Sh you should choose the template HDV 72030p click apply and ok normally your video sh would kind of have like black bars at the top and bottom or on the sides just right click on your clip and uncheck maintain aspect ratio this should get rid of most of the black lines if, but if there's still some you should just go to control go to event panning crop back here and then click control and click and move it around till it looks just right Okay, then just exit out. Now to make the video look better, you should choose saturation adjust because it'll give it more color. Um, you should drag in the preset reset to none, but I already made my own, so just copy down what I have. Amount is one, center is zero, and spreads one. Name it as a preset and save it and exit out. And then to make your video look clearer, you should go to sharpen and put in a medium. Name as a preset, save it, and then exit out again. Now, if you need a more brightness and color contrast, you can put go color curves, drag and reset to none. I'll drag in my preset and just copy this down.
and I'll exit out. You don't really need this, well, for this video anyway, but if you do, just drag it in. I don't need it for this, so I'll undo that. Then all you have to do next is go to Render As. I prefer to use Windows Media Video. You can also use the MPEG-4 up here, but I'll just use the Windows Media Video. Choose the template 6 MP. BPS HC 720 30p video, then go to custom. Keep the audio the same, but in video, change the image size to custom. Now, there's two ways you could do this you could choose 960 by 540 for high quality, or you can choose 124 by 576. They're both the same. I don't really know the difference, but you can choose wh which you prefer. I'll just use this one for this clip. And then make sure the video smoothness is all the way up to 100. Then just everything else is, you should could keep the same except for this. You can change it to best. Then just save it as a template and save it and say OK. Then you just render it. Hope you don't have any problems, but if you do, again, you can put, put comments or you can send me a personal message. Hope this tutorial helped you. I'll be making more soon.